Students, parents and teachers, welcome to our week 9 term 3 virtual assembly. We will now have the acknowledgement of country. As we gather today in this special place, place together we acknowledge the First, First Nations, Nations people, people, the traditional custodians of this land. We should always remember that under the buildings, concrete, concrete and playground, the land was and always will be home to the Gwigal people of the Darawal Nation. Together we pay respect to elders, elders both past and present, and to the young people of today, as they, they embrace, embrace their, their connection to country. Roach will now address the assembly. Hi everyone, week nine virtual assembly. Can you believe it? I can't believe we're up to week nine and we've had nine weeks of remote learning. And whether you're learning from home or whether you're some of the children who have been learning from school, it's certainly been a different term. One more week to go and then we'll have our school holidays. And we're going to return, obviously, the same as we're going to end this term, but there is a light at the end of the tunnel and we're looking forward to seeing you really, really soon after the holidays, as long as those COVID numbers stay where they are. Thanks to Lexi and Mitch for doing the intros for today's assembly. They've done a great job. Don't forget to have a relaxing time over the weekend. Don't forget to take it easy on yourselves. Be kind to your families. Speak with kindness in your voice. Be grateful for things that you've got. Be grateful for the things that are around you. And especially be grateful for today, which was Optional Friday. And I say this each time it comes around, that Optional Friday is about some choices to be made in your learning, but it's also a negotiated time with your parents. Don't forget that one. Have a lovely weekend, everybody. Stay safe, stay well, stay positive. Bye. We will now have the Kindy Awards. Well, for entree today, I thought I might make a very nice batch of ricotta stuffed early stage one children. Doesn't that sound yummy? Here we go. We need one tablespoon of Layla Hawks, two thirds of a cup of Montana Coglin, a third of a cup of Hudson Marshall, half a cup of finely grated Isla Sebastian, half a teaspoon of dried Riley Parsons, and 20 Emily Newans. It's a lot of Emily Newans. I need one cup of Adrian Ansari, half a cup of self-raising Jarvis Dunn, one and a quarter cups of iced Samuel Jones, some Crew McCarthy for frying, and some baby purple Frankie Stedman's and some green Cora Coversons. I'm going to put all of those yummy ingredients topped with some sea salt flakes and finely grated teachers. I'm going to make something yummy to eat. Oh, I can't wait. Congratulations, the Early Stage 1 Award recipients. We will now have the Stage 1 Awards. Right. Now I think I'll do a nice main course Stage 1. Here we go. First of all, I'm going to need two stalks of Indie Duck. 700 grams of Hayden Whitney. I'm going to need Nate Mason for drizzling. 100 grams of Benjamin Arthur. One large Archer Garvin. 100 grams of green Austin Townsend. Half a cup of Ed Hewitt. And three green Greta Wards. I'm gonna, going to need 50 grams of dark plum Christian Arnold one tablespoon of Ava Taylor, three tablespoons of Dale Hands, and six Michaela Fannings. And then I'm going to need one chopped up Gracie Marsh Shirley. I'm going to preheat Jace Keylor to 200 degrees Celsius, and I'm going to line a large Cooper McArdle with nonstick baking paper. And I'm going to fold in Mia Brunton and Maximus Archer, leaving partly the edges open. 
And then Samuel Blake, I'm going to fold into the enclosed parcel. Then I'm going to place Michaela Moore and Isabel Tamchelik and Poppy Mars Shirley into a bowl and cover them with yummy dressing. Mm, mm, mm. Congratulations to our year one and two students. We will now have the stage two awards. Now to bake a very nice batch of lemon curd stage twos, we're going to need two cups of Isabella Nguyen, sifted, half a cup of refined Matthew Long, one teaspoon of Mason Hayes Conway, 125 grams of Chloe Attard. We're going to need a sprinkling of Tate Blackwell for dusting. And we're going to need four Sienna Martinis, two Liam Fiori's, half a cup of Banjo Chapman, one tablespoon of finely grated Page Island, and one cup of Sydney Dixon. We're going to preheat Lily Beasley to 180 degrees, and we're going to place the Liam Stuckey, Aidan King, and Lachlan Halstead into a bowl of a fine processor and process until they all come together to look like Chloe Varney. Then we're going to place Liam Short and Charlie Keogh in a lightly greased baking dish and bake. Yum. Next are the stage three awards. How to cook stage three. First of all, we're going to need a Shea Barlow Millivoy, a Lauren McNally and a Jake Jocelyn. And we're going to need four sheets of Dasha Curran, four cups of cooked Hunter Newton, one shredded Ben McDonough, one pickled Tara Gavigan and some extra James White to serve. Then we're going to need three cups of Alexandra Taggart, half a cup of Kaya Gallon, followed by three tablespoons of Isabella Cullen. And then we're going to need three Mason Spelters, and we're going to put all of those ingredients into a Logan Clark and mix them well. Then we're going to place Alira Doves, Jet Nisbet and Boan Chu into the saucepan. And we're going to put Cameron Weeks and Ava De Bono on a reduced heat and cover for a further 10 minutes. We're going to move, remove Chase Nisbet and Nash Warren from the heat and we're going to allow Caitlin Williams to stand for five minutes. And that should cook up us a nice stage three. Congratulations, Year 5 and 6 award recipients. Thank you to all students and teachers who are demonstrating the valuable learning experience taking place during teaching and learning from home. That concludes this week's virtual assembly. Thank you everyone for your attendance this afternoon.